All right. Well, what I do want to talk about then is Oppo's folding phone. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about Oppo's folding phone. So Oppo Find N is what it's called. I was, it was sort of like lurking behind the scenes. I actually just went and shot a video and I was on the road with it. So I didn't get a ton of time to use it daily, but I've spent a few days with it and I really like it. I love it. Should I go get it? I should I, probably go get yeah, it. Yeah, you should get it. All right. I'll be right back. All right, I got the phone. Uh, yeah. So you've seen the find, or the fold, sorry, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fold, I like it a lot. I've called it, it's, it's basically the technology king of folding phones. It's got the highest oh, yeah. end specs. It's got the highest end cameras. It has a really nice outside screen that goes all the way to the edges. Big, huge folding inside screen. Great. It's bleeding edge in every sense of the term, pretty much, yes. for a smartphone. Hidden camera behind yep. in the selfie camera. Okay, so... This is a smaller, shorter version. Mm -hmm. It's more portable. It's more reachable. It's more friendly, in my opinion. Yeah. And there's a couple things it does better despite not being as bleeding edge. That's my take on it. So I made the whole video. I'm going to... Have you held it yet, actually? I held it really quickly, but yeah, I'd love to see it again. God, the hinge is so great. That sounds fantastic. Listen, Give it a little ASMR. ASMR, it's a podcast. Why not? Do you remember what the razor used to sound like when we did that? When it creaked and oh, made all those weird noises. Sound like an 80-year-old's back. Yeah. No, this is uh so it is a much smaller so the thing about the way the reason why sorry, I bring up the fold yeah. is because it is it's world class, but it is a little bit tall. Mm -hmm. And the reachability Unwieldy, of like yeah. using that super tall outside screen was like fine most of the time. But a couple things were harder about it, which is number one, reaching the top to get your notifications. You just have to do like a hand shuffle to get to the top of the screen. And then number two, typing, because the keyboard is like compressed in, it's so narrow. So mm -hmm. even though the phone is like pushing the screen all the way to the edges, super technologically advanced, it is hard to type on that narrow screen. So what the Oppo does with aspect ratio is it just plays around and makes it a normal sized, normal aspect ratio mini phone. So like squash it down a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's five and a half inches diagonally, which is basically the same size as an iPhone 13 mini. So imagine an iPhone 13 mini folding out, and when it unfolds, it turns into a 8.4 by 9 aspect ratio. So actually slightly wider than it is tall. Okay. So the Samsung is taller than it is wide when you unfold it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the difference here. So it's a smaller sort of like I... notebook, like pocket passport size type thing. Mm -hmm. And I love it. I feel like Samsung was trying to have that wow factor and therefore taller feels bigger than when you're like holding it in your hand. So when it's unfolded, it feels gigantic. Huge. But yeah. in terms of actually using it, it becomes a little tougher to use because of that. Definitely. So it has its upside and its downside. I, now I'll say like I, the upsides I really love about it are obviously the smaller nature of it. The outside screen is much more usable and mm -hmm. reachable. Everything about it is like using a normal phone. Other than being obviously it's pretty thicker, thick, yeah, it's pretty yeah. thick, so you're not quite using it like a normal phone, but it's pretty, it's way better to type on. And then the inside, best hinge I've used in a foldable so far. And Are it, you counting Duo? I am counting Duo just because this is, I mean, it's kind of a different category when it it's goes 360, yeah, yeah, yeah. but just the satisfaction and the firmness and the way it claps shut zero gap close i put a piece of paper in it in the video and like held it up like it's really oh, a zero yeah. gap close and the, the crease is is handled a little bit better it's a larger radius so kind of the same way the moto razor tried handles to do but it. did really poorly well it handled it and it, it aged over time but you could it would kind of move the screen in place to loop it around inside mm -hmm. instead of having a tight radius fold. And on the first one, they also had that like gap on the outside where you could see the edges of the screen and yeah. that was terrifying. That was rough. Yeah. But this does that same loop on the inside. And so the, the crease isn't nearly as much of like a solid single crease. It's more of like a, an, a slope in the middle. It's not so yeah. bad. It's like three smaller creases rather than one big crease, which right. kind of sounds like it would be worse, but it's actually... It I spreads think way out. Better. It spreads mm -hmm. out the z-axis difference more. So that I really love about this phone: 120 hertz LTPO inside display, nice, very flexible, very usable. Uh, but there's a couple things that are I would still consider downsides of okay. it as well. Um, oh, by the way, by the way, the battery 
in this phone somehow is larger than it is in the Fold. It's a 4,500 milliamp thickness, hour battery. I guess, right. uh, it might be a little bit, yeah, a little bit thickness, a little bit, yeah, it weighs more. But it is a smaller phone, so I was very huh. impressed by that. Um, but there are a couple downsides. Number one, outside screen is 60 hertz. Not the end of the world, Toss but it, it is It is still weird. Like when Samsung did this with the Fold 2, it is still weird going back and forth between 60 on the outside and then opening it up uh, and it's 120. I've never thought about it like that. Yeah, so you're like, every time you use the outside screen, you're sort of thinking about how it's not as smooth mm -hmm. and then you open it up and use the, out the inside and it's bigger, but sometimes you just want it to use the outside. So I would love a, a 120 matching Quick question outside. on that. Uh -huh. Would you prefer like it is 60 outside, 120 inside, or what if it was 90 inside, 90 outside? I think I would rather have 90 inside, I think I would 90 rather outside. Have 90, 90, yeah. Yeah, just so they match. Just so they're matching. It'd be smooth, you... but you know, it does okay. Would you rather have 60, 60 or 120, 60? Which is 120. I would definitely the, the take- The inside's 120. I'd rather have 120 okay. on the inside. Just wondering how much you prefer. I'm trying to scale this of yeah, uh, it's matching not, versus- I see what you're saying. It's not really about matching as much as it's about like having the premium experience. Okay. cool. But since it doesn't match, that is the focus. Okay. So I love the design. This is, we were talking about Oppo phones before. Like this is one of my favorite parts of this phone. It's got this little gradual bump up to the camera bump instead of just being a sharp Mesa. That's cool. The back is like this nice textured. It's not glossy. It's so nice. Doesn't pick up fingerprints. So that's really nice. And I like holding it. Um, but yeah, it's just like, this is a different way of doing a folding phone that we haven't seen before. And that I actually like physically speaking more than the fold. Um, the inside screen, you only lose about 0.3 inches diagonally. Uh, as far as comparison to the to the Z Fold 3, yeah. it would be like 7.4 versus this is 7.1 diagonally. And then it just comes down to the software experience, which is a little bit hit or miss. All of the first party apps in this China only phone that I don't use do have folding phone optimization. And there is multi-screen split, ta split screen multitasking is cool, but all of the Play Store and Google apps and things like that are not yet optimized. Yeah as they probably shouldn't be in a phone that's not shipping outside of China. So that was a downside. I couldn't really use this as a daily, but I'm very happy to see this sort of experimentation with hardware. What do you think yeah. about a smaller foldable? Are you team small fold? I'm team this color. I can tell you that. Yeah, same. So good. Um, yeah, this feels way more just like single hand use closed. It is thick, obviously, but... Man, that feels, yeah, it feels way better. It feels way more like a, a phone when it's folded. I think that's, yeah. the fold, the Galaxy Fold and even like the, what was it, the Mate XS? Mate which is X2 now. X2. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like most of the folds we're seeing, not, not the flip, because the flip is like its own category, but yeah. the folds we're seeing feel like they're mostly focused on the inside and the outside is like, we know you need it, but we think you're going to mostly use this here. This feels like it's focused equally on both. It made the small sacrifice of being a little smaller on the inside, which is still like folds aren't big enough to think that this is a small inside. If you buy this phone, you're going to be like, wow, I have so much real estate mm -hmm. when it's unfolded. But when you're folded, you're going to be like, OK, I'm actually using a phone. This doesn't really feel that much weirder. Yeah. Um, I think that's awesome. I try, love this. Try the hinge. It's just like holding it. It feels yeah. fantastic. The crease is like the least noticeable I think I've ever seen in any folds that we've gotten. I, um, I think you said like, yeah, at a hard angle, you can kind of see it. Even then it's not. But that's really when you're looking for it. Like you when you're using the phone, it, it's, just like the, it's just like the hidden selfie camera or the notch. Like you're not really looking at the edges and the corners like that. And so when you're just watching the content or whatever you're doing, it's fine. Yeah, it what, disappears. What I think is impressive about this, and I haven't noticed it on other ones, is the grid layout has icons right down the crease and mm -hmm. you don't even notice it. Yep. I don't know if any other fold has been um, bold enough to put icons right where the crease is, but this this shows that it's doing it really well. I, I really, really dig this. We'll see how that ages over time. That was one of the questions about other foldables where the crease oh, starts off looking really flat and then a few hundred folds in, it starts to show itself a bit more and you notice the distortion in the image. So. That's a question that's yet to be answered about the Find N. But yeah, like I said, this is a China-only phone, meaning it's going to sell for, I think it's 10,000 yuan or less, which converts to about fifteen, sixteen hundred $1,600 or less. Okay. So it's still premium, still expensive, but it's got 
it's got that that it factor. I, I feel like this it's is that, one of the most interesting phones. I just want to give like a little shout out to Oppo here. Their hardware this year has been beautiful. I'm a big fan of their. I'm I'm gonna call it industrial design. Yeah, yeah. Their design has been like just really really nice. Like this is beautiful. This mm. color is great. It reminds me of we have this is the Oppo Reno Six Pro, I believe. The like the back color on this. We've talked about things being fingerprint magnets. I think it's impossible to put a fingerprint on this, and yeah. it looks good. I think I could have chocolate all over my hands, and it wouldn't leave a fingerprint on this. It's. I think this is the best looking phone, just period. At this it's, point, it's about the looks, but it's also about the feel. And I want to bring up the, the feel. Fi the oh Oppo my. Find X3 Pro has the slope up to the camera kind of the same way. Mm -hmm. So it's not a camera protrusion as much as it's like a little camera slope up to the hill. And that seems like such a subtle thing, but it's, it's really, it makes a big difference so when you're nice. holding the phone and touching the back of it. And that's also a satin phone. Looks really good. Doesn't pick up fingerprints. That's another one they, they killed this year. Oppo hardware is on point this year for their smartphones, at least. Yeah. Oh, this one also, it's got text on the on the hinge, it just says designed for find. I guess the find, I guess Oppo's find series is like their experimental brand. You know how they've had the pop-up camera yeah, with the yeah. find and the well, Oppo find series has always been It's pretty weird though, cause they did do the Reno zoom, which had the shark fin. So that like True. kind of goes off brand, but yeah, find is normally feels like the experimental. It's the premium know. experimental. Okay. Yeah. So I'm into it. I might just be a sucker for folds still. We'll see how these, these age out, but. I like it a lot. I mean, as much as I love, though, Oppo's hardware for phones, I just want to also bring up they recently announced a, um, oh, are you taking the, the screen protector off? Yeah, I'm taking the outside Do screen the protector mic. off. I'm not taking the inside off, but sure. Someone make that into a beat. Someone's going to rap over that. That was pretty sick. Sure. Anyway. Hey, thanks for watching this clip of the Waveform Podcast. Hey, make sure you've gotten gifts for people you need already. Are you on that? Drink water, straighten up your posture a little bit, and make sure you've got gifts for people because they're going to want them. And you're going to want to feel that, that giving feeling for the holiday season. Don't be late. That's all my advice. It's unsolicited, but it's definitely good advice, so you're welcome. I second everything. Subscribe. See you later. Bye. Bye.